Hello, kindergartners. This is Mrs. Sheeler. We're doing lesson six, session one, explore, counting and writing to 10. You're going to need your math book, pages 107 to 110, and you're going to need something to write with and some counters. So when you have your items, we will get started. All right. Look at the blue card right here. How many dots do you see in that blue square? Did you say four, that you saw four dots in that blue square? How did you see the four dots? Maybe you saw two and two, and you know two and two is four. Excellent. Let's look at the purple square. How many dots do you see in that square? Did you say five dots? There are five dots. How did you see them? Maybe you saw two on the top and three on the bottom, and you know two and three is five. All right, let's look at the red square. How many dots do you see in the red square? Did you say five dots? Maybe you saw four on the outside and one in the middle. And you know four and one is five. All right, let's look at the orange square. How many dots do you see? Did you say four dots? There are four dots. How did you see them? Maybe you saw three and then one more. And you know three and one is four. Which two squares have the same number of dots? Yes, blue and orange have the same number of dots. They both have four dots. They're arranged differently, but they both have four dots. And red and purple, they both have five dots. They're arranged differently, but they both have five dots. All right, let's look at this right here, the green one. How many dots do you see? Let's count to find out one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six dots. Six is the counting number that comes after five. So I'm going to write a six. All right, let's look at the red one. How many dots do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven dots. Seven is the counting number that comes after six. Let's write a seven. All right, and in the orange, how many dots do you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the counting number that comes after seven. Go ahead and write an eight. And finally, the blue, how many dots do you see? Let's go ahead and count to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is the counting number that comes after eight. Let's go ahead and write a nine. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next page and we need our counters. All right. Looking right here, this is a 10 frame. We've worked with five frames before, but this one is a 10 frame. It has two rows of five. So we're gonna put five counters on our 10 frames. So go ahead and do that with me. You can put it on yours as I put it on mine. Here we go. One, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five counters on our count on our 10 frame. How do you know there's five? We know there's five because we counted them and we know one row is filled and one row is five. Okay, so now we're going to, um, we're going to place nine counters on our 10 frame. Here we go, let's keep going. We have five. We're gonna add another one, six, another one, seven, eight, and nine. So now we have nine counters on our 10 frame. Is our 10 frame full? No. How many more counters would we need to fill our 10 frame? Yes, one more. So 
So let's go ahead and add one more. And now we have 10. Excellent job. So now I want you to, one by one, we're going to move our um, counters over to the circle. So here we go. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We still have ten counters, but they're out of the ten frame and now they are in a circle. Excellent job. So let's go ahead and move on to this page right here. What this is page 109. What does it say? What number do you see in the middle? Yes, that's the number eight. So we're going to give examples of showing the number eight. So one example, I have eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another example is with my fingers, five fingers and three fingers. And another example is on the 10 frame. Five are filled in on the top and three are filled in, in on the bottom. That's eight. And my final example, I did four plus four because I know that equals eight. So you're going to go ahead and finish this and then you can do page 110, the next page, where you are putting eight on the 10 frame and putting it around the circle. So, and you can um, find different combinations of making different ways to make eight. So go ahead and have fun um, learning and finishing your examples of the number eight. Bye for now.